Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at the new features and improvements from Windows 10 build 18.9.80 through build 18.9.99. These previews are part of the Windows 10 20H1 update arriving sometime in spring 2020. We have a few changes to cover, so let's get started. Starting with version 2003, Windows 10 makes Microsoft Paint and WordPad optional features which means that you can now remove them if you don't use them. So as you can see right now, I'm on the optional features page and I can select them one by one and just remove them. That simple. If you ever want them back, you can always come back to the optional features page and just look for the app, select it, and you can install them back. In the signing options page, you won't find visual changes, but the option to restart apps automatically after a reboot will now also restart most of the Microsoft Store apps that you had open in your previous session, which appears to be something that didn't happen before. Also in this new version, you can also use your pin to sign in while you are in safe mode. Before, even if you had a pin, you will still require to use a password to sign in. So let's just try it out that feature. I'm just going to use the uh, advanced startup to start the computer in safe mode. We're going to select the option number five. And as you can see, we have the option to sign in with a pin. Also, starting with the new version of Windows 10, ease of access will no longer synchronize across devices. As a result, you will no longer find the option to synchronize your settings on this page. As part of the uh, 20H1 update, Windows 10 is making it a little bit easier to control your updates. So now you will find a new view optional updates option that will take you to this page where you will be able to download and quickly install drivers, feature updates, and non-security quality updates all in one place. They will appear automatically, so if any of them are available, you can just check whatever you, you need to install and click the download and install button. And that's pretty much all that's new with the settings up up to Windows 10 build 8999. On File Explorer, you won't find a lot of changes either, but now Windows 10 includes support for HEIC files. So when you right click, the context menu has been updated. So you will be able to set those images as your desktop background if you want to. In addition, as you can see right here on this moving image, from Microsoft, you will now be able to pair a Bluetooth device directly from the notification banner when the device is detected. The feature also adds a dismiss button to the first notification to give you more control while you're using Swift Pair. And finally, to make notifications more useful, now Windows 10 will show you the device name and category when possible. I don't think I can really show you this, but also now on Windows 10, if you use the Xbox Game Bar, the app now displays an FPS counter and achievements overlay. And last but not least, the new Cortana app doesn't have new features, but it's available on all supported languages of Windows 10. And that's pretty much all that's new up to Windows 10 18.999. If you want to learn more about these flights, click the link in the video description below. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.